Bye, people. It's the average man here. Uh, okay. Well, today we have got a, a bit of an average man exclusive. Um, so I've got the new Cam Jam Educit Free Robotics uh, made by the guys at Cam Jam. So that's um, Michael Horn and Geeky Tim, Tim Richardson, uh, and the nice people over at the Pie Hut, I believe, kind of put these together to help them bring out the Educits. This is the third one, and this one's all about robotics. The idea of this kit, it gives you everything you need to kind of okay. You grab your Raspberry Pi. You get everything in here to make a robot, and all you need to do is add a chassis. That's the fun part, okay? Uh, now, I've just literally had this delivered today. Um, I haven't opened it. You can see it's still it's still sealed. Um, I've seen pictures of what's inside, but I thought I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll have a little video. We'll uh, get their wife's kitchen knife out to open it, just to anger her, because that's fun. Uh, and then we'll just see what's inside. And then, you know, maybe I'll do another video once I've built the thing. Um, and maybe own chassis. So let's just cut through here. Ooh, okay. So with this I've got, just for you know completeness, I've got two stickers from the pie hut there, but you know, don't worry about that one, I'll eat that one later. Okay, let's open it up, what do we get? Drum roll. Can everyone do it at home? Right, here we go. Okay, that was a foul. <laughs> right, let's open the other side as well. Watch your fingers. Uh, yeah, okay. Maybe I'll do it this way instead, ready? Beware robots. Okay, what have we got? Let's have a look. Now, I know one thing about this the motor controller, you get a motor controller included, so you, you get everything you need, you just add your pie. But I know the motor controller is made by Fortronics. So they're the guys that made the controller for Average Bot, my Pie Wars Raspberry Pi robot. So they make this thing here. Say hello to Average Bot. This new front chassis, the linesman. Anyway, enough about Average Bot. It's been my obsession. Uh, okay, let's have a look what we get. So we've got an SR04 distance sensor. We've also got in there a line following sensor. Should we open those? Let's open them up. Let's have a look. I'm sure I've got no static on me. I'm sure it's fine. Okay. SR04. You know what that is. Well, if you don't, you know, you're on YouTube. You'll find out very quickly. Uh, a line following sensor. Uh, these are they look similar to the ones I'm using on my PyWars robot, but actually these are a bit different. They've got one hole. Um, looks like I don't have uh, an adjuster on them, like some of them do. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I'll show you that now. Uh, so average bot's got little adjusters on his ones. Oh, I'm calling it him now, that's weird. Um, but I'm sure that just means it's kind of more of a simple way of using it. The idea of these kits, I mean they're 17 quid, they're simple, designed for things like schools, so you don't want to be messing around too much, so that's good. Okay, let's put it there. Uh, these are the custom red wheels. So you've all seen the yellow wheels that you see in all the kits out there. They've had these specially made. Oh, this one's been out and about already. Interesting. Maybe it, maybe it came out in a factory. Um, so these are red ones, specially made. Now, I've been told these do make the robot go faster. I'm joking, of course. They're just the colour. But uh, there you go. So red wheels. It's nice to have a change. Let's put those over there. What have we got? We've got a mini breadboard. We're going to have to move over here, aren't we? We've got a mini breadboard. I'm guessing that's to plug everything into each other. Where do we go next? What's this? This looks fun. This must be the motor controller, the cam jam. Okay, let's have a look. That doesn't tell us much. Let's have a look. Now I've got the preview version, so it hasn't. They're still working on all the guides and the the sheets. There's a lot. What you do with with cam jam, edgy kits, you get a lot of sheets, worksheets. You can't go wrong. Basically, it's, it's the way to learn. There's nothing to kind of go away and Google. Usually, it's it's all there for you. Oh, this is a bit cool. Oh, breaks it. <laughs> okay. Nice, so let's have a look. So that's going to go on your GPIO, and it's it looks like it's 26 pins, so that's going to go on both your old and your new Pi. And then we've got, uh, let's see, motor A, motor P, P, B, when did I ever go to P? Motor A, motor B, and then that middle one there is where you put your ground and your voltage in. So it's nice and simple design, battery in, motors out. Easy, obviously code that runs the thing. And then it looks like, I'm going to guess here, that all the other ports that aren't used, all the other GPIO that aren't used are here, ready for you to use. And I'm guessing that's where these jumper wires will come in and you'll be plugging things in like the sensor over there or the line sensor. So we'll work that out. I'll do another video once I've made a made a robot. So let's put that there and there. It's all very wonky. Okay, let's get rid of this lid. You've seen the lid. Let's put this over here. Okay, next in the generation game we've got a ball caster. Let's open that up. 
Ta da! Oh, broke it. Oh, that's not good. What's that in there? There we go, it's a screw. Uh, okay. Oh, I see. So you've got a ball caster, and that acts like a third wheel, so that, that'll roll. So you'll just screw this to your chassis using these two little holes here. With the screws that I've just lost, I'm sure there must be another one flowing about. Anyway, yeah, you'll get these screws here. And uh, little nuts. So there you go, that's that there. I better stop playing with that before I lose it again. Uh, okay, two of these. Now you would have seen these before. These are, you know, you'll see these in a lot of the robot kits out there. Um, yellow DC motors, I guess. Not sure what the ratings are. Not sure how fast they'll go. Um, we will find out in good time. So there's two of those, because you've got two wheels. Some more maths. Uh, right, what else have we got? We've got two what looks like double sided sticky tape pads. I'm going to make a guess and say that if you're adding this to say, you know, that could be a chassis, right? That could be a chassis there, you could just put some motors and holes there, and you could stick your parts in. I'm going to make that guess before I even find out. So that's, I reckon that's what they're for. You have got a battery holder. Now I've got one similar to this actually, and I bought it for this reason because it's got a little switch on it. There it is, off and on. So you have your batteries in there. 4AA. Now, you can, you can go really wrong with batteries. If you go to the pound shop and get AA batteries, with kits like this it tends to not work because they don't produce enough voltage or amps or whatever it is. So I might have to do a test with cheap batteries and then try one with some good batteries see what goes on there. I've not seen anything suggesting that you need to use really good batteries, so I'll be interested to find out what happens there. But that's handy off and on, so you haven't got to worry about taking out these wires every time. You can just turn it off, chuck it in the cupboard, and then the next day put it back on again. Let's put that there. This is a lovely random display of parts. Now we've got one more, no, two more things in here. Let's have a look. Empty box. Okay. What have we got? We've got some resistors. Now, nah, I haven't been doing this long enough to tell you what resistors they are, but they are different resistors. So I'm going to make another guess and say that uh, maybe one of these is for, for each sensor, maybe? I don't know, we'll find out. So there you have it. That is the CamJam EduKit Free Robotics. So, what am I going to do? I'm going to build this thing, I'm going to prototype it, get it working, see if the motors spin. Then I'm going to work on a chassis. Now I've been doing a lot of laser cutting lately with my average bot project for Pi Wars 2015. So I'm probably going to try and do some snazzy laser cut chassis for the fun of it. Um, but I'm also going to just kind of try and show you what you can make with stuff around home. So maybe we'll cut a bottle in half and make a bottle bot. Maybe we'll use this as a chassis. Maybe I'll use my CamJam EduKit 2 tin as a chassis. Uh, maybe, an, oh, did I say egg box? Maybe an egg box? Maybe a milk carton? Well, no, we'll find out. I'll probably take the milk out first. Okay, so there you have it, guys. Um, keep an eye out on my blog, averagemanvsraspberrypie.com, because I will most likely write something about this on there and show the videos and, and show what I've made. So have a look on there. And if you're on Twitter, you'll no doubt see pictures on Instagram. Have a look on the website, there's links to all those on there as well. But until next time, have a lovely evening. I'll see you soon.